We think about IoT Village as a movement. These devices are being adopted so rapidly that security is not effectively being baked into the development and deployment of those solutions. That puts consumers at risk, that puts businesses at risk, that puts governments at risk. And what we're trying to do is to galvanize a community around solving that problem. Every time somebody hears IoT, they immediately think, I don't want this in my house. But as time goes by, that choice of having something in your house or not is not really there. You can walk in the village, you won't feel like you're asking a dumb question, and you'll still walk away learning something, no matter what your skill level is or knowledge. IoT Village provides an opportunity for people to experience security in a very tangible, very real way. So what ends up happening is, I can kill Lisa right now. She's being <laughs> smothered. She's flatlining, patient monitor's going nuts, she's dead. What's going on at the nurse's station? She's fine. What I'm doing right now is we are replaying recorded data of a healthy patient. So this patient monitor is something you'd see in every hospital room in America probably. The IoT Village seeks to raise awareness of IoT security. We want consumers to be able to make informed decisions and we want manufacturers to improve their security. So we put a lot of work into the security on the Bird 2 and we wanted to put it in front of the DEF CON community and see what people were able to do with it. We've learned stuff about our tech that we didn't previously know and from my perspective that's phenomenal because we have a really talented team internally but when we can be educated by people external to the company it's a big, big win. We really want to show that uh, we very much welcome the work that uh, security researchers do. And uh, even though we work in a world, the medical device world, that's not as accessible to uh, the people that work in this space, we really value the input that uh, researchers have. We want to show that we, uh, we love for them to work with us on uh, our medical devices and uh, what they can find in it. Security is a mission critical part of being a pioneer. And by participating in this, they're able to address some of the challenges that are introduced through innovation. Building a contest to challenge hackers, you know, at the world's biggest hacker conference, if these guys didn't know what they were doing, this room would be empty. So IoT Village is awesome. Unfortunately, like a lot of hackers work in these uh, small groups. They don't really share a lot of information because they kind of want to monetize or capitalize off of the information that they have. So being here in IoT Village gives us an opportunity to talk to a bunch of other hackers that we wouldn't normally talk to and share information and kind of like come together as one. I think it is the best thing since sliced bread, personally. This year we're here at DEF CON helping run a uh, hands-on lab, IoT Hacking 101. How do we get people involved with this? Because it might be intimidating, right? Walking up into a big CTF at a big conference. The idea is that we handhold them all the way through from the basics of firmware analysis right through to discovering a bug and popping a device or two. I just connected over NetCat. There was nothing fancy, no authentication, anything like that. And this number here is your authentication token. It's a serial number on the device. That's what they're using for authentication. So what we're doing is that we're showing people how we find vulnerabilities in embedded devices. Specifically, I've been targeting NAS devices, and I've been showing how we find vulnerabilities, develop an exploit for it, and exploit it from the attacker's perspective. IoT Village is the face of IoT security worldwide. They're probably the most preeminent brand when it comes to dealing with IoT security. We have expertise, they have expertise, and we feel that it's more than just a sponsorship, it's more of a partnership in which we share stuff with each other. The visibility that you get from all of these conferences is, a, is an amazing thing. It's only going to get more and more relevant, and the devices are only going to get more and more prevalent. And so I think it's just a great interactive, hands-on experience for people to come and get immersed. We know that these security challenges that are inherent within connected devices, they're not going away on their own. We're able to make these challenges come alive, to become real, to be tangible. And when we do that, we enable people to participate in being part of the solution.